Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I would like to talk about the deployment of the famous German Tiger tank in dedicated heavy tank battalions. We will explore the origins, organization and deployment of these tank battalions between 1942 and 1945. From the outbreak of the war in 1939, it was clear that the German tanks were generally speaking outclassed by Allied tanks, which had more armor and bigger guns. The invasion of the Soviet Union in 1941 confronted the Germans with even stronger tanks, like the T-34. As a result, the Germans developed their own heavy Tiger tank, which was being put in production in August 1942. In May 1942, three heavy tank battalions were formed to be equipped with Tiger tanks. Initially, a heavy tank battalion would have a mix of heavy and medium tanks, Tigers, and Mark III's. The Tigers would take on other tanks, while the Mark III's would focus on softer targets like infantry. The official organization table for a heavy tank company prescribed that each platoon would have two Tigers and two Mark III's, and the company headquarters would consist of one Tiger and two Mark III's. Tiger production was however slow to pick up in 1942, and as a result, the battalions were thrown into battle piecemeal. The first Tiger unit to see action were elements of Battalion 502, which were sent to Leningrad in September 1942, where the first Tigers were lost due to deployment in forested areas, for which they were not suited. The second deployed Tiger unit was Battalion 501, which was shipped to North Africa in November 1942 to support Rommel's Africa Corps, which was in dire straits after the defeat at El Alamein. Battalion 503 was sent to the Rostov area in January 1943 to stem the Soviet post-Stalingrad offensive to cut off the German armies in the Caucasus. Meanwhile, Battalion 500 was formed as a training and replacement unit for all existing and future Tiger battalions of the Wehrmacht. In January 1943, two more Tiger battalions were formed, 504 and 505. Battalion 504 was slated for North Africa and shipped in March 1943. In this context, it's interesting to note that on the 26th of February 1943, it was decided to attach both heavy tank battalions to Tunisia as the 3rd battalions to armored regiments of the armored divisions over there. Battalion 501 was attached to armored regiment 7 of the 10th armored division, and Battalion 504 was attached to armored regiment 8 of the 15th Armored Division. This decision didn't have lasting effect as both armored regiments were destroyed by April 1943 and in May their parent armored divisions disappeared from the German army roster after their surrender. In March 1943 it was decided that the heavy tank battalions would only consist of Tiger tanks. A heavy tank battalion would have 45 Tigers. Three companies of 14 Tigers each and three Tigers for the battalion command. All existing battalions were reformed to this new format in the spring of 1943. In May 1943, four more Tiger battalions were formed. At this stage, there was one heavy tank battalion for each army group in Russia. 502 for Army Group North, 505 for Army Group Center, and 503 for Army Group South. A select number of divisions also had an attached company of Tigers. The Leibstandarte SS Adolf Hitler, Das Reich, Totenkopf, Großdeutschland and the Hermann Göring Division. These divisions had their own armored regiments with three battalions of four companies each, in total 12 tank companies. On top of that, they had an attached 13th heavy company with Tiger tanks. The companies of the three SS divisions and Cross Deutschland, as well as Battalion 503 and 505, were involved in the Battle of Kursk in July 1943. In autumn 1943, two new battalions were sent to Army Group South, and the Cross Deutschland Tiger Company was expanded into a full battalion as the 3rd Battalion of the Armored Regiment of the division. In December 1943, the reformed 501 was sent to Army Group Center. This meant that four of the seven operational Tiger battalions were operating in Ukraine. And on top of that, 
the Tiger Companies of the above mentioned SS divisions. In December 1943, a new version of the Tiger tank, the Tiger version B, better known as King Tiger, would be allowed for deployment in the existing Tiger battalions. This tank went into production in December 1943 and would gradually replace the original Tiger tank. The spring of 1944 saw the degradation of the existing Tiger battalions in Ukraine as a result of the encirclements at Korsun and Kamenets Podolsk and the muddy conditions which often prevented Tigers from being recovered. The exhausted battalion 506 was withdrawn, but in return the southern sector received a fresh Tiger battalion 507 in March. In April, battalion 503 was withdrawn for total refitting, while the hastily refitted 506 returned in anticipation of a major Soviet offensive. Meanwhile, the new battalion 508 arrived in Italy in February. In June, the newly reformed battalion 504 came to Italy as well, and the battalions would each be placed under the command of the two armies in this theater. These battalions would not be the only battalions deployed against Western Allies. In spring 1944, the SS Tiger companies from Leibsnacht and Das Reich were refitted and expanded into full battalion size on the Western Front. The plan was to attach these battalions to the 1st and 2nd SS Army Corps, but this was prevented by the events to follow. Early June 1944, there were 10 operational Tiger battalions, which were divided as such. Six on the Eastern Front of Russia, two on the Southern Front in Italy, and two on the Western Front in France and the Netherlands. From the six battalions on the Eastern Front, one was under Army Group North, two under Army Group Center, and three in the Southern Sector in Ukraine. The summer of 1944 saw the destruction of many Tiger battalions on the Eastern and Western Fronts. Operation Bagration against Army Group Center saw the destruction of Battalion 501 and 505, while the Lvov Offensive in July destroyed Battalion 506 and 507. In July, the refitted Battalion 503 and SS Battalions 101 and 102 were all in Normandy, where they were destroyed in August. By the end of August, almost three quarters of the Tiger Battalions raised so far were out of action and in the process of refitting. In the middle of this onslaught, Battalion 510 was formed and sent to the Baltic region around the same time as the Großdeutschland Divisional Tiger Battalion was also sent over there. This meant that in the end of August, the Baltic region had the highest concentration of Tiger Tank Battalions. The destroyed battalions were meanwhile refitted with the King Tigers and deployed as soon as possible to deal with the deteriorating German situation on all fronts. Battalion 501 was thrown against the Baron of Bridgehead in August 1944, while Battalion 505 tried to stem the tide in East Prussia in September. Battalion 506 was sent to Arnhem against the British advance in the context of Operation Market Garden. In this crisis situation, Training and Replacement Battalion 500 detached a company to Armen as well. This reinforcement was still equipped with the original Tiger I tanks, which production was suspended in August 1944. This company was attached to Battalion 506 and would constitute the fourth company of this battalion until February 1945. The SS battalions were meanwhile equipped with King Tigers and renamed in autumn 1944, while a third battalion was being formed. In December 1944, there were nine operational Tiger battalions, from which two were on the Western Front, two in Italy, three in Prussia and the Baltic, one in Poland and one in Hungary. Battalion 506 and SS Battalion 501 participated in the Ardennes Offensive. At the end of December 1944, several battalions were redesignated, part of a small trend to attach Tiger battalions to an armored army corps. Battalion 501 was renamed Battalion 424 and attached to the 24th Armored Army Corps. 503 was renamed Feldherrnhalle and attached to the Armored Army Corps Feldherrnhalle. In this context, the Tiger Battalion of the Großdeutschland Armored Division was also attached to the Army Corps with the same name. In January 1945, 
the rebuilt Battalion 502 was renamed Battalion 511. The original three Tiger Battalions were probably renamed to avoid confusion with the similarly named SS Tiger Battalions. When the Soviet Army opened their offensive into Germany in January 1945, this meant another onslaught for the Tiger Battalions. Four Tiger Battalions were in and around East Prussia and they were all destroyed in the spring of 1945. Battalion 424 was practically overrun when the Soviets broke out of the Baranov Bridgehead. Despite these losses in, in the northern sector of the Eastern Front, only one Tiger Battalion was sent as a reinforcement while two Tiger Battalions were sent to Hungary to support the last German offensives, which brought up the total of Tiger Battalions in Hungary to three. In February, the remnants of Battalions 424, 507 and 508 were sent to the interior for re-equipment. In the case of Battalion 424, it was renamed Battalion 512 and re-equipped with the so-called Jagd Tiger, a super-heavy tank destroyer based on the chassis of a King Tiger. In March 1945 it was deployed on the Western Front where it ended up in the Ruhr pocket together with Battalion 506. In March 1945 the production of Tiger tanks broke down and as a result Battalion 508 could not be re-equipped while Battalion 507 and SS Battalion 502 were refitted with the last remaining Tiger tanks. They were the last fresh combat units to be committed to action. Battalion 507 was destroyed on the Western Front, while SS Battalion 502 went to the Oder Front and met its end in the Battle of Berlin in April 1945. In these final months, all available Tigers were sent to the front, including the Training and Replacement Battalion 500. In April 1945, most Tigers were destroyed and only very few surrendered to the Americans and the Soviets in May 1945. If you like my content, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell to get notifications for new content.